Hi there, in this video we're going to look at how to automatically refresh a pivot table when its data, data source is changed or added to. So first of all we'll create a pivot table from our simple little database. So I click into the data, insert pivot table. I'm going to place a, a first example on an existing worksheet and I'm just going to very simply create a very simple pivot table. Now if you've worked with pivot tables you know that if you uh, change your data, for example, I change this to something much bigger. And the pivot table doesn't automatically update unless you go in and refresh it, and then it does. So we want to avoid having to right click and refresh your pivot table. We want the pivot table to automatically update when we change or add data to our data source. So the first step uh, is to convert your data source into an Excel table. This will allow the pivot table to pick up any new records that you add to uh, your data source. So to do that, uh, just click in any single cell in your data source, then go to uh, Insert Table, or preferably Control T, which is the shortcut key for Insert Table, and then you just have to click on OK. And it applies some formatting there, which is uh, quite nice as well. The next step is to name your pivot table. So this will be useful later on when we're writing a little bit of VBA code to automate uh, the refreshing of the pivot table. So to do that, click in any cell in your pivot table, go to the Analyze tab on your ribbon, or it might be Options if you're in an older version of Excel. And then over on the left is a little box where you can type in the name and we're gonna call our scores, pressing Enter to confirm. Okay, so the next step is to open up the Visual Basic Editor where we can write some code. And to do that, uh, press Alt F11 on your keyboard, Alt F11, and that'll bring up this uh, Visual Basic Editor. Now, if you're lucky, um, you'll have what I've got on my screen, but I'm just gonna take it back a few steps just in case it's not quite presented the information as you need it. Essentially, you need a list of projects down the left-hand side, which is like a list of all the workbooks that you currently have open. And if that doesn't appear automatically, just go to View, Project Explorer, or you can see there's a shortcut key called, uh, shortcut key Control R. Now, what you want to do is find the project or workbook that you're currently working in and expand it. Then you want to expand the Microsoft Excel objects folder, which will show a list of all the sheets in your workbook. You need to find the sheet that your Excel table is in and double click on it. That will give you a code window on the right of your screen. Now, you've got two drop down lists at the top here. We're not interested in the one on the right, but the one on the left, you need to change to worksheet. That will give you two lines of code, which you're gonna leave as they are but you are gonna to have to write something in between those two lines in order to make this process work. Now, if your pivot table is on the same sheet as your Excel table, this is what you're gonna write. You're gonna write pivot tables, and then in brackets and in quotation marks, the name you gave your pivot table. Then full stop, refresh table. So what this is going to do is whenever you make a selection change in your uh, the sheet, sheet one or whatever sheet you're on, it's going to automatically refresh your pivot table. So we'll just see if that works. So if I do Alt F11 again, that'll take me back to my uh, worksheet. So I'm going to put a new name in here at the bottom. I'm going to say Greg and I'm going to say 999 and you can see that it's picked it up here. If I was to make a change to existing data, say 900, that changes Barbara's record there. So that works really well. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is show you what to do if your pivot table is on a different sheet to your Excel table. What I'm gonna do is just go back to this code and I'm gonna kind of disable it, otherwise it's gonna cause problems. And all I've done is commented it out by putting a little apostrophe in front of it, which means basically Excel won't read that as code. So Alt F11 again. I'm going to create a new sheet. 
just leave it called a sheet two and I'm going to cut this and paste it onto this sheet, this new sheet. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this pivot tab is now on sheet two. So this is the change that I need to make to my code. I'm going to go back to the Visual Basic Editor. And what you've got to do is specify the sheet that the pivot table is on. So you have to say worksheets, a collection of worksheets, and then in brackets, the particular sheet it is in. Notice it's in double quotation marks again. And you put a little full stop in there and that'll work quite nice for, nicely for you. So whatever your sheet name is, you need to put within those quotation marks. So auto for 11 again, I'm back here, let's go. Let's add something here. So if I add Fiona, uh, 100 and if I go back here and it's picked it up there okay now uh, one last thing uh, before we go um, because you've essentially saved a macro or a piece of code within your workbook you are going to need to save your workbook as a macro enabled workbook otherwise uh, the macro or the code the refreshing code simply won't work so when you go to save your workbook please make sure that your file type is an Excel, Excel macro enabled workbook, not an Excel workbook. If you choose Excel workbook, it will strip out the macro. Okay, that's all, it, all there is to it. Uh, hopefully that's been helpful and thank you very much for listening.